Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Just a quick disclaimer, this is an adult channel. The videos are made for adults and we discuss adult topics. The videos are not made for or aimed at children in any way. So, welcome back. I hope you're all okay and you had a lovely Easter. I had a few days off of filming. Um, spent some time with Paul and Jennifer and spent a lot of time just... Um, chilling out and colouring. Uh, so we're going to carry on at colouring in springtime by Deborah Muller. Um, we've been doing this one with the Prismacolors. So we're going to just carry on and keep colouring. So I hope, like I said, I hope you all had, I'm going to colour these in, a lovely, lovely Easter. We had a very nice and relaxed one. We were off for uh, from Wednesday of last week because we had some annual leave books so we we're off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday so it was a lovely long weekend and then back at work on Tuesday. I didn't film yesterday which was Tuesday night because uh, we were watching TV and just chilling out together so we just uh, ran out of time but back now back into a filming schedule with a few videos that I know what I want to do with. So we're just colouring this one as our colouring chat. We're going to have a, um, another video like the W. H. Smith pencils one. Well, we're going to have a few of those. Uh, the first one's going to be using the Black Widows because somebody's requested that. So we'll, um, I'll be starting to film that soon. It will take me a little while. Um, I've been colouring loads. I think I've coloured something like 12 pages already this month. And I'm filming this on the 15th, so that's pretty good. A lot of them are patterns and mandalas. Um, but that's, uh, you know, because it's easier for me to do when Jennifer's up. I have done some other pictures that have taken a bit longer. That were... Um, you know, pencil work rather than markers. I've done some marker ones as well. Got a nice cup of tea here. So what I just wanna say is hello to all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you for joining me. I hope you are enjoying the videos, especially at this time. I've gotta be honest, I find it hard to catch up with all the videos, although I do try my best just because when Jennifer's up, um, obviously in the mornings we're working, so <clears throat> I've got to be honest, she's down here with us. We work in the living room with myself and Paul, and she has the TV on, and she watches pretty much CBeebies, plays with the kid toys, has her breakfast and stuff. But we, um, I've got a cup of tea here because I'm thirsty. We literally just let her get on with it, basically. And then we take it in turns to see what she needs, so... I start work at around eight and so does Paul. And then I get up around half past eight, nine o'clock. <coughs> Sometimes can hear her chattering in her room. If she's quiet, I just kind of leave her. But if she's really loud chattering, or I can hear her making noises, I'll go up and get her. Cause she will start screaming for me if I don't. I then change her, get her uh, breakfast sorted go back to work and then the next time she needs something Paul will do it so usually she has a after she's had a cereal she'll have a piece of toast as well so Paul will then go and do the toast and then if she wants something else I'll I'll get them to do it. We just take it in turns like that. It just makes life a little bit easier to um take it in turns and that way you know, it's not me being interrupted all the time and it's not Paul doing everything all the time. So those of you who do post your your colouring pictures on Instagram, uh, if you're watching this, leave me a comment down below with your Instagram name and if I'm not already following you, I will go and follow you and look at your pictures because I do love seeing what everybody else is colouring. <coughs> I already follow a lot of people but I'm always looking for more people to follow. Same as if you have a YouTube channel, um, please, 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 please um, let me know by leaving um, your channel name or let me know I have a channel, I have a colouring channel and I'll go and click on it and 
have a look. Because I do like watching um, other people's tutorials, other people's book collections, their um, hauls. Obviously, uh, your finished pages. The finished pages is one of my favourite parts of the month, to be honest. I've got to be honest. I love watching that. Because it, it's always good to see what people are colouring, what books they're colouring in. You know, I'm always buying a few books every month. I, I do like getting new books. As you know, I've had a few this month. I've got one more on order. Obviously, Hannah Carlson's got a new one coming out later in the year called Tales of the Midnight Masquerade or something like that. And I've seen pictures of it and it looks absolutely stunning and I have pre-ordered it on Amazon. I can't wait for it to come. I thought I'm just going to pre-order it. I still haven't got all of the other ones yet. I'm missing... I think it's just Daydreams and Soulmates to be honest but I haven't got them yet. Um, but I hopefully will get those soon. I hope everybody's staying well and staying in and <clears throat> looking after themselves and being sensible because the sooner this is over the better. I mean I must admit I haven't been out to the shops for over four weeks and yeah I've had enough of it but I just want this to to be over so we can although it's not going to go back to normal straight away get back to some semblance of normality in the sense that shops can be reopened even if they are limiting how many people can go in at a time I just think uh, you know I'm still selling on eBay I haven't got much stock left to list I'm just I haven't listed anything for a while to be fair because I've not got a lot I'm going to do a bit now. Um, but I am still getting a few sales in. Like I said, not huge amounts. As long as I hit my fees for the month. I'm not too worried about making huge amounts of profit. The thing is, just to keep it ticking over. And it is ticking over fine. So I'm happy with that. It's not like I rely on it. I've got my salary from my day job, which of course I'm still doing. Just doing it from home. I'm lucky. Um, I'm not spending as much money because obviously I'm not <coughs> I'm not driving the car anywhere, so I'm not putting any diesel or fuel in the car. Obviously the hairdressers is closed, so I'm not putting having my hair done, so that's saving me like 60 quid every six weeks. So that's good. Um also, I would be, if I was, if this was, if we were in normal times, I'd be getting cash out here, there and everywhere and I would be buying rubbish from the shops. And I would, I'll admit that. I would be putting on, you know, I'd be going into Greg's once a week for a sandwich there, spending five, six pound. Because whenever I go to Greg's, I always get Jennifer uh, um, a sausage roll because she loves sausage rolls. <coughs> Throat's dry. So I've got my tea. And, you know, I'd be buying stuff in spa and... Obviously I'm not doing that, so... I mean, I have bought a few colouring books this month. I'm not sure how many. I'd have to count them, maybe five or six, not a huge amount. I've bought a pencil case for my polychromos, which you'll see at the end of the month in the haul. Um, might order another book, I don't know. I mean, I've got so many colouring books to be going on with. I don't really need any more. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a new battery because the battery's just died. I know there is one over on the windowsill. I'll go and get that and I'll be right back. 
Okay, got another battery. It's not fully charged, unfortunately. I think Jennifer's not to load the batteries off the windowsill where they charge by the plug, so I don't know how long this is going to last. But uh, I'll put one on charge and I'll, when this one runs out, I'll go and look for another one. So. Oh dear me. Hey, kids, kids. Let me just pull this in, that's it. So I'm going to use PC. 1078 which is black cherry on her hair for the little flowers I've done them to look like marigolds and I used orange which is PC 918 and then I used I think it was this one which is yellow orange PC 1002 so here we go and this battery's already going and I haven't even done anything yet so I'm not going to just do it in black cherry I will put another colour on it as well and I've missed the inside of her hat so I'll get a deeper yellow for that A minute so. so I'm still working my way through Doctor Who new Who that is not old Who I will watch old Who at some point um, but they're not available on iPlayer yeah they're on Britbox but I'm afraid I'm not paying to see them when well, I've got some of them anyway so I'm a bit loath to buy subscription services. To be fair, I, the only subscription service I've got is the Amazon Prime, and I've only got that because I have Prime for ordering stuff. I know at the moment Prime is still is all over the place because of what's going on, but that doesn't actually bother me. You know, it is one of those situations. You know, I'm still getting my Prime video if I want it, and and all that stuff, so that's fine. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna to have to go and look for yet another battery in a second. Oh. So we'll just get another color on this now in a second to give it more of a brownish tinge. I like this picture, it's really cool. Okay, so let's carry on. Finally got the battery charged up. I'm going to do her, carry on with her hair. Now I'm going to be using chestnut, which is PC1081. I have to admit, I do need to replace some of my Prismas, but you know what, they're expensive, so... I don't think it's going to be anytime soon, somehow. So, anyway, like I said, I'm working through, still working through Doctor Who. And I'm on, I've made it to Matt Smith now. So I'm on episodes with him and Rory and Amy. Do I like Rory and Amy? I know everybody loved Rose, but I really didn't like Billy Piper. It's just grated on my nerves. But it's just one of those things. Whereas I love Donna. Martha was okay. Really liked Amy and Rory. Didn't really like Clara. Bill was okay. I think there's far too many in the TARDIS at the moment. Although obviously the first, when they first, uh, back in the 60s, started it there with the three companions, the, the uh, stories were longer so they were able to give each character something to do. But uh, they have full 20, to 25 minute episodes as opposed to 145 so yeah I think it's just one of those things really um, out of the current companions the best one's Graham which is Bradley Wall she was a comedian and quiz show host of all things um, but I believe he is leaving 
keen on the others. We'll just see. We'll see what happens anyway. They might be the one that stays, which I think is going to be Yaz. Might be better once. Um, the others have gone because she'll have more time to bond with the Doctor and for her character to develop. So that should be quite good. That'll be better. But yeah, I normally don't go for the popular. I don't normally like the popular ones. I know that Billy Piper was very popular for some reason. I, I don't know. I I didn't particularly like her. She didn't gel well for me. She was annoying. Apart from the first episode, she was really good. But I don't know. But it's like when I was a kid. Um, the Doctor I remember most most of was Peter Davison. So his companions when I started watching, which was right at the end of Tom Baker's era, so I, I vaguely remember Tom Baker changing into Peter Davison's um, Doctor. And the, his three companions were called Adric, Tegan and Nisa. Um, and my favourite out of those three was Nissa, and Nissa wasn't even supposed to be a permanent character. She was in a episode, a story arc called um, the Keeper of Traken. Um, Traken being the planet, it was a master-based story, and she was only supposed to be in that one story. But they liked her so much that they decided to bring her back as a companion in. The next episode, Logopolis, which was the one in which Baker regenerated into Jake Davidson. And Davidson's first episode, Cash Trevalva, where his um, regeneration was allegedly failing. And I just liked her. There was just something about her I really liked. You know, she was serious. She was quiet. She was intelligent she was pretty um as opposed to tegan who was pretty don't get me wrong she was uh, but she was a bit of a loud mouth and i just didn't i just didn't like her very much so and i know she was the popular one as well and i just don't think they gave nissa enough to do but that's my opinion um and tegan was all right i didn't have anything against tegan i didn't dislike her like i did um Billy Piper, but saying that Billy Piper didn't just because Billy Piper was in it didn't stop me from watching it. So I I still watched the show, and I you know I'd still watch it now, regardless of who is a companion and so on. So yeah, you know, they're all what they are, but I'm enjoying watching them. Um, I admit I am really enjoying watching these seasons. I don't have any of the Matt Smiths on DVD. I will get them all at some point. Here we go. I don't know how long this video is going to be. It's late at night because I have to wait for the battery to charge up, which is so annoying. Um, I'm just going to do that in there a bit darker. So... You know, it's kind of like, what am I doing? Why am I, you know, I'm waiting for all the battery to charge. So, so I got a lot of videos planned, so I will be filming a lot this week, but I am also trying to list what's left of my eBay stock that I've got because eBay stuff is still selling people are actually still buying stuff I guess because they can't get out to the shop if people are buying a lot of stuff on online from eBay which is fine by me I mean I'm not really pushing it like I would if it was this was a normal situation because I don't really want to put my partner at risk because he's the one who's taking everything to the post office I don't really want to put my post office people at uh, at risk they are I know some post office have stopped accepting parcels. Mine is still accepting, and in fact, um, 
Paul went in the other day with some parcels. The lady on the counter, Marianne, said to him, is this a uh, drop and go for Andrea? And he went, yeah. <laughs> See, they all know me. Small town, but that's fine because they're lovely. So that's fine. I've got four to go out now. I've got everything on a really long dispatch. It's on all on 10 day dispatch. So that, um, so for instance, I had a sale tonight that I haven't got or two that I haven't got because it got dark before the sales came through. So tomorrow, when I finish work, I will go and get them from the shed and pack them up and address everything. And then Paul will probably take it down Friday. I think I'll get him to go. He said he'll go as soon as I've got it ready. So, it's good really. Because, uh, as I said, I'm, I'm only trying to, I'm just keeping it ticking over, I'm listening what I can. And I want to um, just hit fees. And if I make any profit, I'm topping up things like poly bags, uh, mail, mail in supplies, stuff like that that I need so that when this is all over and I can go out and buy a ton of stock or start buying stock again, <coughs> I won't have a ton of stuff to um, purchase. It can all just go to profit until I need to again. And what I do with the poly bags, I have two sizes. Well, I need three, but I, I'll get a third size after I get the size. I, there are two sizes I use the most. One is mostly for tops. And the others, the next size up is for dresses and cardigans, jumpers, that sort of thing. And then I really need a couple of sizes bigger for coats and things like that, which I don't have. But I don't sell many coats, so it's not too much of a bother. So my plan is to, this month, get the next size up that I use. And I, I last time I bought... Uh, something like 50 or 100, probably 100. I'll buy 200 this time. And what I do is I put a little... Oh, there's another one there. Oh, no, it's just the thing around the side. Um, piece of paper in the drawer where I keep them. And in the ones I use the most of, which is tops. Tops and dresses. It... Um, I have a little thing, I count them out and I have a little thing that says 50 remaining, order now. And in the one I use less of, it says 25 order now and it'll do 25 on the next stop as well. But I'll order a lot less of those, so. Yeah. So it's just a matter now of... Um, ordering them and the next size. I'm alright for camera boxes at the moment. When I get down to about five, I'll go and order those. I've still got plenty of bubble wrap, but I'm, I'll probably order that. It's just when I've got the money to do it, so. We're spending a lot of time in the garden because the weather's been quite nice. It was a bit chilly, but although it was quite hot today and at times with Jennifer and playing with her and colouring while she plays, she's taken to um, pulling all the leaves off the rose bushes for some reason. So, yeah. But uh, she wants to do the play and she comes and shows me something and I'm like, oh, come on then, what do you want to do? Do you want to play ball? And sometimes we play ball. And then she'll stop and she'll go off and do something on her own and I'm just there until she comes back. So I've always got a colouring book out there with me. Sometimes, it's mostly patterns, but occasionally I take out a proper, I want to say a proper colouring book because even colouring patterns and mandalas is proper colouring. But sometimes I'll take out a book like, for instance, um, 
Colour in Heaven or I was colouring in Sherry Baldy's Sherry Baldy book the other day so I had that one out and uh, so on well. So yeah, I listed a few items today. I haven't listed anything for weeks. I thought I've got to start listing again. So I'm just finishing off um, using my uh, leftover stock that I hadn't got around to doing. I've got a few little bits left, but not much. I've nearly listed all the clothing. So. I've got a pair of shoes of my own that I've never worn cost me 20 quid from New Look that I might put up because they're still brand new. I've never worn them. Nice no shoes too. I've got a pair of shoes to list. I can't wait till this is over and I can go out sourcing again. I really miss going just around the shops and uh, you know just having a look around the shops and Picking up a few bits and pieces, whether or not it's a bit of clothing for a quid or whatever, you know, I, I miss it, I do miss it, it's, sometimes I buy stuff for myself, and it is frustrating, because I haven't really been out properly because I'm trying to self-isolate to keep myself away from people because of my asthma. Um, so the only place I've actually been is the recycling bin which is out the front. Out the front to clap for the NHS which we do every Thursday although last Thursday we were putting Jennifer to bed because she was tired and she was halfway up the stairs before we uh, could stop her. Bless her. And then uh, in the back garden, that's it. I haven't been anywhere else and frankly I'm getting fed up. I know why we're doing it and I will continue to do it. We have to. Have to be sensible, have to take care of myself. I'm the only mummy that Jen's got, so... I'm being very sensible and very careful. There we go. I think we'll use one for the puppy, a little brown and white puppy. He's very, very cute. So we're going to do this now. I'm not going to do much more. I've done only about 25 minutes. I'll try and do another 10 or so. Just because I've got work in the morning. But I film another one of these fairly shortly. I said I'm going to do a video on some budget supplies, like I did the W. H. Smith's one. Um, I'm going to do one on the Black Widows next and then I've got Marco Ruffin's and I've also got the Faber Castell Classics which I do like and I can uh, you know use them and do some Video showing how they lay down in the, in the various in the books and stuff, and colour a picture with them for you. Um, it, it has been requested because it's like a, a viewer said, not everybody can afford the expensive pencils. I wouldn't be able to normally. The only reason I was able to get the Prisma colours was because they went on to very cheap offer. I think they were eighty eight pounds. Um, and I had some money from somewhere. And the polychromos were down at £120, I think. They might have even been less. And I had a bonus from work. So I was thinking of getting another set of Prisma colours. 
with uh, my bonus this year, but I decided to get something else instead, so I didn't. But that's okay, it is what it is. I need to um, find somewhere. I mean, there are plenty of places that sell them individually. I know that. I've just got to go put together an order of so many pencils. As long as we've got the colours I need in. And I'll do the same with the polys. Polys I can buy from uh, Hobbycraft when that reopens. Or I can order it from their website. That's where I got my first polys from. Got some loose ones in with my favourite Castell Classics. But I also like using cheaper products. I mean, the, the Black Widows, they are absolutely stunning pencils. I love using them. I really love using them. And I totally recommend them to anyone. And like I said, I will be showing them. And I know that they've got a new set of pencils coming out soon. But I will do a separate video for those when I've got them. Because I will be ordering them as soon as they go up for ordering. So, I will admit I am looking forward to uh, getting a new set. I need to order a pencil case for them that's big enough because they're going to be over 140, I think, now. There's 96 with the two skin tone sets. If they bring out another set of 48... Yeah, that's going to take them to 144. So, and who knows if that'll be the end of it or whether there'll be any more. So. And then when I get that, and I'll move my Black Widows from the, their pencil case, that 72 set case, I will put my um, Derwent Ink Tenses in. Which reminds me, I've got a whip to finish that I've been using them on. And it's been hanging around for a while. So I must uh, try and finish that off this month, just so I can show it to you and put it away and... Move on to something else now. I'm going to do his white patches in actually in cream, just so he's not completely white. been enjoying the colour in this month. I didn't do his tail. That was a bit naughty, wasn't it? Oh dear. <sighs> Back we go. Oh well. hope everybody's had a, a lovely holiday. I know I, I did. I had a beautiful time. It was just lovely being at home with Paul and Jen and just chilling out. Me and Paul didn't have any Easter eggs. We got a box of chocolate. We bought a, a box of chocolates to share and Jennifer had a few eggs from my mum and dad and from us so 
she hadn't seen granddad for and, and nana for over four weeks poor kid Granddad says she's going to forget him. I said, I don't think she will somehow. But uh, I know what he means. It's horrible for him and her. Because they do love each other. They adore each other so much. It's heartbreaking to know that they're not seeing each other. And, um, yeah. It's really, really quite sad. They, they, oh, they're the best of friends and I think they miss each other very, very much. Um, a bit of pink. So a little bit of pink around his nose. Oh, that'll do. Oh, I just stabbed myself with that one. My little puppy. I'm actually going to call it a night for now because it's getting late and um, I need to get to bed. Um, but I'll come back and we'll do some more on this uh, another night. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, give, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave me some comments down below. And I will see you again in the next video. I know we haven't done much. We did finish her off. And we've done her puppy and we've, start, we've done the flowers. But uh, we will crack on and do some more soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye now.